Well, that's empathy. Compassion is different. Compassion is suffering with the other. It's not pity. It's not feeling sorry for. Compassion is suffering with. There are now, this is a question that's been alive for 3,000 years at least. Is man fundamentally good or evil? We now know about something called mirror neurons, these neurons in the brain that literally mirror the actions or feelings of someone else if we're connected and paying attention. We can show, for example, that if I show you a picture of a man with a broken leg, you will wince watching, seeing that leg broken, right? Because you, have, you are wired biologically to empathize and to feel what others feel. So if we get out of our own way, we can attune much, much more with the world. And this not only makes us better at work, better at home, but it makes us happier. And you're going to see that. This is extraordinary. On the New York City subway, it's hard enough finding someone who will give up his seat to a stranger, let alone willing to give up his life for one. The train was coming in like, like, like that. And it happened just... 50-year-old Wesley Autry, a construction worker and Navy veteran, was standing on a subway platform with his two little girls, when right in front of them, a man started having a seizure. He kind of stumbled and over his own feet and fall backwards. I see a train coming, but the train is so close, I'm like, what do I do? Wesley jumped onto the tracks and thought if he could just lie on top of the man, keep him from flailing, maybe the train would roll right over both of them. The clearance was exactly 21 inches. Wesley and the man, 20 and a half. No way the train can stop before this gentleman could get him, get him up off the tracks. So he covered him with his body and pushed him down to a point where the train wouldn't hit his head and held him down under the tracks while the train came and rolled right over the top of him. It gave Wesley's children the scare of their young lives. I thought he was going to get killed. And Wesley, the scare of his, too. I'm like talking to him, sir, you can't move. I got two kids up here looking for their father to come back. I don't know you, you don't know me, but listen, don't panic. You know, I'm here to save you. As for the guy Wesley saved, he's 20-year-old Cameron Hollipter. And other than a few scrapes and bruises, his father says he's doing fine. Mr. Autry's instinctive and unselfish act saved our son's life. You know, the word hero gets thrown around a lot nowadays. What a better way to say it, to start off the new year than to save, save a life. <laughs> nice to be reminded of what one really looks like. Steve Hartman, CBS News, New York.